All right. All right. Okay. It's gonna be dummy lit. Here we go. We got second Flying with Giants Q&A video. Flying with Giants Q&A part two. More questions, okay. more answers. Let's go. I'm gonna shut my door. All right, favorite song to perform. For me, it would probably be Opening with War Pigs is fun. I've always liked doing Heart Shaped Box. Um, we recently learned Circ Wax America. Favorite song to perform. Y'all know it's killing in the name. I get so into it. I go so hard. I'll start jumping around. This time we played it, Maddie went uh, insane. Easy. Killing in the name. Because we all go insane. And when there's people in the audience going insane at the same time, it's freaking lit, bro. Like, Kyle up there screaming. And Mikhail's like, boom, 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 boom. And then Maddie's like, psh, 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 psh. it's it's so fun. It's awesome. What is your favorite song to perform? And so on the rare occasion we do it, I really love playing Killing in the Name. And we can't play it all that often because it's kind of sassy. We just really get into it and high energy. Insane. Insane. And uh, favorite merch item for me is the playing cards. Underrated merch item. Playing cards, people. We are the cards. Buy it. Your favorite merch item is this one. It's the Flying with Giants Pokemon shirt. So we got Reed as Charmander, Kyle as Sableye, Kayla as Psyduck, and me as Mudkip because that was my main on Pokemon Emerald version. My favorite, oh, my favorite merch item. That is the Pokemon one because I'm absolutely obsessed with Psyduck. I have crocheted Psyduck made by Anna Feltheim. This is probably my favorite. It's Flying with Science and it's a little Flying with Giants Psyduck. And it's from my friend Katie and she wrote uh, really sweet things about me on the back. I, I, I have more Psyduck things. I have notebooks. I have a painted calculator. I really like Psyduck. What's your favorite merch item? I like the hoodie because it's really comfortable. And the only other one I have is a t-shirt. And I like that one too, because it's got the cool record design on it. Best album of 2020. I've not been paying much attention to current rock music, but uh, for me, it's gonna be Ordinary Man by Ozzy Osbourne. Like the man just came out with some bangers. Under the graveyard, come on, come on. Ordinary Man, Ozzy Osbourne, the legend, the icon, the man, the myth, the legend. The moment, whatever that one Wendy Williams quote is, I'm gonna look that up. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. So I said Ailstorm's Curse of the Crystal Coconut because that's the only album I could think of coming out in 2020. Other than Gigaton by Pearl Jam, but I think that one was not very good, so. Ooh, I really like Stand Atlantic's album Pink Elephant that just came out. And the new Remo Drive album isn't bad either. I like them a lot, but it's not as good as Greatest Hits, though. So that's the best, but their new one's pretty good, too. Uh, favorite 90s band for me is going to be Smashing Pumpkins. I've always liked their music. Um, you're talking Siamese Dream and... Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. I don't know why I blanked on the name. That album's really good. Good band. Favorite 90s band. Ooh, I really like Green Day, but um, No Doubt, I gotta go with No Doubt. Specifically, the album No Doubt by the band No Doubt. No Doubt. It's like their earlier ska kind of stuff that they do. And their bass player goes ab absolutely crazy on that album. Listen to it, it's, it's great. What's your favorite 90s band? <laughs> Green Day and Blink-182 are tied because they like got me into music so they'll like forever be my favorite. No matter how. Actually, I don't know. I really like Nirvana too. There's a lot of 90s bands that I like. What is your favorite 90s band? I'm gonna have to go with Pearl Jam. They're just pretty great. Favorite video games. Uh, for me, I have a big four. It's Guitar Hero, Tony Hawk American Wasteland, SSX Tricky, and the most recent 
one, uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. My Kirby's uncontested. Definitely have to put DK64 in the mix because it holds the Guinness World Records for most collectibles in a game, and I have 101 percent at it. Um, number two, another Rareware favorite is Banjo-Tooie, part of Banjo-Kazooie. Number three, I really like Breath of the Wild, but I also really like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. The new Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered came out, and I am in love with it. I'm also a huge Smash fan, so... Kyle introduced me to these first two, so I like GTA 5 and Skyrim. They were like lifesavers during quarantine because the games are so long, so you just, you never got bored. And I still haven't completed either of them. I'm really close to play Pokemon Emerald version on my Game Boy, so that one, that's near and dear to my heart. Um, and then Call of Duty is another fan favorite. I really like the Modern Warfare series. My favorite game ever is probably The Last of Us. Otherwise, the Sly Cooper franchise was a favorite when I was younger, and I still really like that one. Right now, I am playing through Ghosts of Tsushima, and that's really fun. And of course, you got your Marios and stuff like and Zelda. Top notch. Uh, favorite classic punk songs? For me, it's going to be Dead Kennedy songs. Uh, my big two from them is Holiday in Cambodia and California Uber Allies. Um, I don't know much of classic punk. I don't really know what's considered classic punk, but in my head it was like the Ramones and the Sex Pistols. I would have to say Anarchy in the UK by Sex Pistols. I like that one. And I Want to Be Sedated by the Ramones. That's a good one. I absolutely hate Blitzkrieg Pop because I had to make a music video to that and listen to a cover of my family doing it for like seven or eight hours straight. I got a love-hate relationship with it. Gosh, this is hard. I absolutely love classic punk, misfits, and like bad religion. If we're talking like classic punks, I'm gonna have to assume like misfits. My favorite misfits song is Where Eagles Dare because there's a really funny YouTube video that's in it and it's just a banging song as well. Don't tell Kyle I have a crush on him. Okay, I won't. I will not. From, but Kyle, you got, you got a secret admirer out there. My girlfriend wrote that question, that's that's the joke. Do you have any favorite fans? This is question is from my friend Haley. She's gonna want me to say Haley, but I gotta go with my girlfriend Claire because she is the best fan ever. Actually the best fan ever was probably that one dude at Weenie Fest who just, he like, we were playing Wipeout and he just like started going ham on the ground, like shaking and stuff. Uh, favorite fans? Probably the guy at Weenie Fest like one song, he'll just go on the floor and just start spazzing. Uh, he's pretty cool. I guess my family and friends. I hear the Preble people like me. Do have favorite fans. They, they are with me on this wall over here. These are my favorite fans. My other favorite fans are Katie and Anna, who make me all that Psyduck stuff. Randy, who is always wearing Flying With Giants merch wherever she goes and is always playing Flying With Giants songs. How do we all meet? Uh, I met Maddie at Rock Academy about f four years ago, I think. Um, eventually I was like, hey, we should start a band. Um, she found Reed there looking for a band. We were looking for another bass player. And then Michaela just like randomly followed my account out of nowhere and I was like, huh, bass player in Green Bay. Um, but I, I met her at Rock Academy too. I met Kyle my first year at Rock Academy, which is a UWGB camp. Um, we were in the same band together. And then I also met Michaela at Rock Academy my second year. And after Keegan, um, who I was in school band with, um, he found Reed. So that is how we all met Reed. Is Reed went to school with all of us, and I didn't know who he was, but Keegan did. Maddie, my second year of Rock Academy, I think. And then uh, Kyle, I met the next year. He was in my group. And, and then Reed, I met through the band. So it's kind of cool. We all met through a summer camp at UWGB. Everybody pretty much met at the UWGB Rock Academy, and... I just kind of weaseled my way in there after it was formed. <laughs> um, what I would say to people trying to start a new band really comes down to people's schedules. Is I've had 
two different bands where it's broken up because we just didn't have the time to stay together. It's just finding people and finding people who can commit. We have like a combined calendar. Make sure that um, you find people you can work well with because I was in a band and we all could not work well at all together, but we were all really good musicians. So we're like, maybe it'll work. You're starting the band that you can agree on a genre of music because that was kind of our downfall too. Um, and if you ever have trouble finding people when you're um, starting a band, just ask around or someone has to know someone. Just do it. It's fun. Just yeah, get a group of people together that you like and you'll do it and have fun with it. Favorite part about being in a band? Um, it's just playing the shows, having fun with friends for me. You know, I've, I've been good friends with Maddie for a while now. So it's fun to like get paid to like play with her, you know, and Reed and Michaela, they're all great. Playing with the rest of the group just because it's so cool to find people who are into the same stuff as you and want to do that kind of stuff. Playing in front of people that are genuinely having fun listening to us, it's like the most fun thing ever when like we're having tons of fun on stage and then the audience is having tons of fun. It's literally the best thing. You should come and sing it with us sometime, everyone. <laughs> Woo! I'd probably say it's playing music together with everybody um, and doing gigs. I, just, I really like playing in front of people. And you know, when you're playing with people that you really like, um, then everything, it's, it's just perfect. Could you guys please do more videos of shows? I would love to do more videos of shows. We need more people to come and record our shows or find a way to make it so they don't sound like garbage, but yes. We, that is definitely something that uh, we would like to do is have some more high quality recordings of our music. I'm hopefully getting new recording equipment soon. Hopefully we will have like really good recordings coming out soon. More live streams, cool time lapse stuff. Uh, yes, we definitely can. Um, I'll record our next gig. Well, I don't know if it'll be our next gig based off this video. But if we get people to record, I would love to put more shows on. Yeah, right now we just don't really have people like recording it. The closest we had was that Glam Bank gig where we recorded like the full show. So the worst part is when you're played a four hour show, your voice is thrashed, and all the drunk people are going for encore, even though you've played for four hours. That part kind of sucks. I'd say the worst part about being in a band is that we almost had Attack of the Karens at a recent gig this past summer. Probably loading up the cars and unloading and loading and unloading and loading and unloading. Because every time we practice, we gotta bring everything to Maddie's house and we gotta load it all back up and we go to gigs, we gotta bring even more stuff. But it's really not that bad. But that's probably the worst part is carrying everything and loading everything in our cars. Hauling all your gear everywhere, especially being a drummer. I don't know how it is for all the other people in the band, but being a drummer, moving all your gear everywhere, kind of sucks. Who is your favorite band member, each of you? It's a very dangerous question. Um, I'm going to have to say Kyle, because uh, he always shows us new memes and new music, so. I cannot pick, because they all hold a special place in my heart. It's like a mother thing where it's like, pick the favorite child, and like, I can't do that, obviously. Um, because you can all love them all equally. Um, yeah, but read. Read. Who's your favorite band member, each of you? Well, myself, obviously. How do we find gigs? I've been scouting a lot lately around my side of Green Bay. Just finding places online, calling them up, and asking friends a lot, too, if, they're fr if they know someone who owns a bar, someone in their family. So, for grad parties, people usually hit us up and they're like, hey, you know, we know you through this and we'd like you to play at our grad party. Um, so those are pretty easy, but uh, as far as getting gigs, um, usually me and my dad will go to a bar and we'll ask the owner, we'll show them all of our stuff and be like, hey, we'd like to play at your place. And then they either say, yes, we're gonna have you back or no. Message a lot of places and send out our demos to them and some of them respond back and ask us to play. Otherwise, word of mouth is probably the biggest thing. Somebody knows someone who owns somewhere is having a party and then we will ask us to play there or we get in in that way. So it really depends. I just realized I'm an absolute buffoon and forgot to answer a question. There's usually places that do open mics. Those are good. 
uh, that or if you know someone who like owns a bar or like has a venue, like talk to them. Can we get a Gary Come Home cover? Yes. I'd say yes. We talked about doing a ripped pants cover, so I don't see any reason why a Gary Come Home cover couldn't happen. Guarantee you, you're gonna get a Gary Come Home cover, and if it's not from Flying With Giants, I promise you, you will get one from me. When? Right now. That's all you get from him.